All right then, gang. So at the minute, in this first route, we're handling forward slash pizzas inside the index action of the pizza controller. And in there, what we're doing is reaching out to the database table pizzas using the pizza model to get all of the pizza records. Then we're injecting those back into the pizzas index view so that we can see them right here. But currently, if we go to forward slash pizzas forward slash some ID, all we're doing is taking the ID and we're dumping it back into the pizzas show view. So when we go to forward slash pizzas forward slash ID and we fire this show action instead, I'd like to take the ID that we take into the show function and I'd like to query the database for that one single record. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Again, we use the pizza model first of all, and we use a method on that model called find. And all we need to do is pass in the ID into that method. So we can store the results of this in some kind of variable. I'm gonna call it pizza. And then instead of passing in the ID, we're gonna pass in a single pizza into this view instead. So pizza is equal to pizza. Okay, so we're finding that one record based on that ID from the pizzas table, storing it inside this variable and then passing that variable into the show view. So now inside the show view, we can go here and do something with that. So let's first of all, get rid of that little bit of code right here. And in fact, we'll get rid of all of this stuff. We don't need any of that. And we're gonna replace it with our own template code. So first of all, a div, and I'm gonna give this a couple of classes because in the future, we might work with some more CSS or SAS to style these things up. So give this a class of wrapper and also pizza, not work, pizza details, not sure where work came from. Okay, and inside the div, we'll do an H1 and we'll say order for, and then we're gonna output the name of the person who orders it. Remember, in each record, we have a name property and we have access to that now on the pizza that we pass through into this view. So let's access it right here. So pizza and then the name property. So now we have the H1. Also under that, I'm gonna do a P tag and this is gonna have a class of type because we're gonna output the type of pizza here and we'll say the type is and then output pizza and we want the type property. Okay, so let me spell this correctly. Finally, after that, I'm gonna do another paragraph tag and this will have a class of base. And in here, I'm gonna say the base is gonna be the pizza base. All right, so now if we save this, fingers crossed, this should all work. If we go to forward slash two, then we should get the record with the ID of two. Order for Mario, type Hawaiian, base garlic crust. Yes, this page looks absolutely crap, but we will style it later on. So the important thing is this works. If we go to one, we get the other one, order for Sean. If we go to three, then we get the Yoshi one. Now what happens if we go to a URL where the ID doesn't exist, for example, four? Well, then it's gonna time out and go to this error page. So that's not working. A better way to do this would be to go to our controller and use a method instead of find, find or fail. So it's gonna look for this ID if it exists in that table. If it doesn't exist, then we're just gonna show a 404 page instead of that error debugging page to the user instead. So if I refresh now, hopefully this looks a bit better. 404, not found, still not great. And you could customize this later if you wanted to, but it's better than showing that error to the user. So there we go. We have now hooked up this route, which is this one right here, to the database inside this controller by using the find or fail method to find one single record and then injecting that single record into the show view where we can output the details. One more thing I want to do inside this view is just add a little link at the bottom, which is gonna say back to all pizzas. When we click on that, it's gonna go back to this route right here. So let's do that underneath here. I'll say A and it's going to have an href of forward slash pizzas because that is the route we handle right here. Forward slash pizzas. I'm also going to give this a class equal to back just in case we style this later on. And then let's do a little arrow and say back to all pizzas. All right. So save that. 
and let's check this out go to one that actually exists three and we can see the details but now we have this link back to all pizzas click on that and it goes back to the list of pizzas eventually we will link these up as well just not yet but in the next video, I'd like to show you how we can create a web form. And then eventually, when a user fills out that form, we're going to add a new record to the database. But we'll start in the next video by just creating the template for a web form.